Alright, so we're going to finish the last section of the spine and then talk about ribs. In between the bones of the hips here, the ilium on either side, is this thing that looks like a bunch of fused vertebrae. That's known as the sacrum. Okay? The sacrum is what holds, is what connects to the ilium bones on both sides. There's a joint in between the two that moves just a little bit, but not a lot. It's called the sacroilial joint, which is abbreviated the SI joint. So if you ever hear about the SI joint, that's what that is. And the last little section right here, your tailbone. Everybody has a tailbone, and its name is the coccyx, C-O-C-C-Y-X is your tailbone. Have you ever broken this? It hurts a lot. My cousin broke it during the cannonball to about the... the boy was there water in there? Yeah, he was four years old. Oh, okay. My dad and grandma broke it out on the dunes. <laughs> out on the dunes, nice. Do you recall a story? I almost broke mine. My sister tied my feet together and it was dinner time, so I tried to hop up the steps. Oh. My hands were tied in front of my body. I got to the third step and started falling backwards and had that terrible feeling. There's nothing I can do about this. <laughs> Just bruised it really terribly. I missed dinner. I missed it. That's the worst part. Okay, so back to this. Now we're going to go to the ribs here. The last section is uh, these bones of the ribs and of the uh, sternum, okay? Sternum looks kind of like this railroad spike right here, okay? That's, that's your sternum. It's made of three different parts. Sternum is made of this top part, which is a little wider, and sometimes in a real, uh, real skeleton, these will separate from one another. Um, the top part is known as the manubrium, it's like the head of the railroad spike, if you will. The, uh, this portion of it is known as the corpus. Corpus is Latin, it means body. Okay, So it is the, the body or corpus. Either one's acceptable. And the last little thing here, and I, I think this is like, you know, the salesperson for the letter X is like, hey, you know what we need? We need a part of the body that starts with X. Here it is. This little point of the railroad spike is known as the xiphoid process. Xiphoid process. I understand that this can be an issue with uh, when uh, doing CPR. You know that xiphoid process can be broken. So uh, yeah, I don't. I, it's been a long time since I've been CPR certified, but um, so that's what that little thing. So xiphoid process, uh, body or corpus, and manubrium. I can see that. Go ahead. How hard is it to break Um, well, they say if you're doing CPR, you're supposed to add enough pressure to it on the chest compressions that you know. Again, I, I probably shouldn't be saying this because it's been a long time since I've been certified, but it's not uncommon for ribs to be broken. Yeah, that, in broken in car yeah that would definitely apply enough force. Steering wheel, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Okay, now, yeah. folks. There's two types of ribs. There's true ribs and there's false ribs. Okay? Of false ribs, you can have regular false ribs or floating ribs. Let's start with true. True ribs are the ribs that make a direct connection to the sternum, like this one. All these here are true ribs. True, 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 true. Now, if they connect to something else before connecting to the sternum, or they don't connect to the sternum at all, they're false ribs. See these right down here? They connect to each other before they actually make a connection to the sternum. So those are false ribs. A category of false ribs is something called floating ribs. And they're back here in the back. Now, they do not make any attachment to the sternum at all, but this picture is kind of misleading. It makes it look like these ribs are just kind of floating back there by themselves, and the name is floating, so that's misleading as well. But in reality, they're embedded in a whole bunch of muscle, so they're not really going to hurt anything. But some people have the impression that false rib or floating ribs aren't attached to anything at all. That's not true. What are they attached to? 
muscles and here with and your spine. They're attached to your spine as well. So they do make attachments. They're just not the same. Uh, they don't make attachments like the other ones. Like this is a floating rib too, because it's not that wire doesn't normally exist there. Neither does this cellophane tape. But yeah. Anyway, so those are. Floating ribs are a type of false rib, so if it makes a direct connection to the sternum, it is true. If it does not, then it's false. And one category of false is floating. So that's pretty much it for our list here.